foreign accents, so it's called Lost Link. I think it speaks to perhaps even, it's not, it's not an aboriginal look for sure, but I think it just speaks to the idea of we're not just isolating our interest in ethnic motifs, say, to Africa. We're looking, we're looking all around the world and we're looking to these native cultures, and you see that sort of come through in uh, some of the area rugs, the new area rugs from Tahoe Rug Company, as well as this really interesting mirror from Global Views. It's called Bow and Arrow, sort of speaks to that trend. And then I also wanted to, also wanted to share with you too then something that Bliss Living's Home is doing in their new bedding collections. This is their Moroccan collection. And uh, take note of that piece, the pillow, the decorative pillow there on the left, it says Morocco. In all the collections they've introduced this market, there's a pillow available that has a, um, what, what they're calling a um, passport, their passport pillow. So this is the Morocco and uh, in this next uh, collection, which is from their modern treehouse collection, sort of childhood memories turn chic. Uh, you see it here, it's the Canadian passport symbol on that pillow. It's kind of fun, something different, something to talk about, something that might add value, that adds story, that adds authenticity. Yes, a lot of embellishment too on the hide and seek pillow, which is in that group too, but not illustrated in the um, room setting. A couple other things then that fall outside of those initial themes I talked about. Surya's wall decor line now includes some outdoor wall decor. Might be worth checking out if you're finding that your customer base is still pushing that indoor outdoor boundary, trying to, trying to bring as much decorative look to the outside. Sort of fond of that modern, that sort of um, uh, mid century uh, modern piece there. I don't know if we have any madman, madman fans here in the audience, but I think that show is pretty influential in bringing some of that mid century modern look and never really goes away, but I think there's some interest in it. Um, Kalaloo has this um, sort of industrial chic inspired collection. May not necessarily be for your store. I'm kind of seeing it in more of like a gift store, sort of a lifestyle boutique store. And while it may not immediately occur that you to, to, to you or to you on behalf of your customer that this is a look that would work in their home, think of the display possibilities of this piece that kind of looks like a baker's rack or the shelving that has um, <laughs> wood that has a natural finish to it. And then there's the desk. I think the desk is in the publication somewhere. I like that idea of the versatile desk. I don't want to get it too far off the track here, but you know that laptop sales exceed PC, the PC sales, the tower sales, right? So you're starting to see a lot of desking solutions that speak to this idea of laptop usage or writing tables, um, not so much um, this um, room that needs to be dedicated specifically to home office. And speaking of home office and home entertainment, the piece here from Sly is their espresso console. And then the Sly also has their Loft 102 collection. This is the Black Noir TV stand. Um, I'm going to go through these kind of quickly, and I'm going to ask you to, at the end, just bear with me as I share one of the most important themes I think that you'll need to watch and be cognizant of as you do your shopping in 2010, 2011. This piece here is from Aspen Home. It's called Bungalow Baby. That's the name of their new group. Bungalow references, familiar look sometimes retreat to what's familiar in these sorts of economic times. It's a modular group. A, small desk, a smaller desking workspace uh, solution and system and that has some importance moving forward. And then lastly, this piece from um, Riverside Furniture. It's their um, Del Castle collection. They're here in Building B. Moving forward, if in addition to the themes that I shared with you, I wanted to leave you with one sort of closing thought answer any questions, give you a little bit of downtime, and then encourage you to move over to the World Forum space. Um, due to the economic recession and a renewed interest in lowering utility costs, there's been a growing demand for smaller sized homes in recent years. There's also been an adjustment in the volume of living space with a preference for lower ceilings and a diminished interest in two-story foyers. Property upgrades, however, are extremely popular with households trying to maximize their usable space and that is manifest in finished attics and finished basements, outdoor living enhancements, and this idea of the indoor-outdoor blending. These findings are from the American Institute of Architects Home Design Trend Survey that focused specifically on overall home layout and home use in the first quarter of 2009. 
The era of the McMansion could be over as home sizes have been trending downward recently with a significantly higher number of architects reporting demand for smaller homes this year. This is according to the uh, AIA chief economist, Kermit Baker. He's got a whole bunch of letters after his name. And as the housing boom has passed, there seems to be a renewed interest in investing in properties to make homes more livable, as opposed to real estate that can be resold quickly for profit. A couple more statistics I wanted to share with you, a couple percentages. 89% in a recent survey um, conducted by Coldwell Banker as well as the National Association of Home Builders, 89, sorry, read this, 89% of home builders are reported constructing lower priced homes. 88% of home builders say they will be constructing smaller homes. 58% of affluent baby boomers are likely or somewhat likely to move to a smaller home in the next 10 to 15 years. And 52% of um, brokers, again, I said Coldwell Banker was part of the survey, said there's a desire to downsize, and that was cited as one of the reasons why they'd be considering moving. With that being said, the furniture pieces I shared with you at the end all speak to this other thing you're going to see that's happening here in a lot of showrooms, in addition to some lowering price points in a lot of the furniture collections you can be shopping for at market, the scale is going to be smaller. We talked about authenticity of material. We talked about um, transparency. Some of those same, same ideas ultimately are sort of shaping this idea of living in the home. It's living smarter in your home. Do you want to pay to heat and cool a home that's so large and has so much open space that's not used? These are some of the thoughts that I think are going to start shaping consumers, uh, uh, purchase activity once we do start to see the housing booster and new home construction start to, to, um, start to trend upward. Um, with that being said, I hope uh, you've had a good first look of what uh, some of the looks, the designs and products you'll see here at market. And uh, I think there's a little bit of time for questions. Uh, so if you have any, please, uh, please uh, ask now. One of those percentages that I cited did pertain to new home construction. And that's not necessarily something we're seeing a, a, a lot of now. But um, in that same statistic from the um, American Institute of Architects, they did say that there's a lot of attention being um, focused on revitalizing. And I think that could be manifest in revitalizing in the home that you already have. Um, I don't, and I don't know how easily it would be to convert a home from having those two-story open foyers to, to uh, having living space on the first and second floor. Um, but I think that um, if I were to just use the home office category as an example, um, it's happening now, right? Because you know we don't need um, so much storage space to to run a business from home or to be an effective business person from home. We just need a laptop. We need a surface that's just going to, uh, and our portable devices allow for us to kind of bring that business with us everywhere. So I would argue that, that, that it's happening now. And it's happening in some silhouettes more than others. Um, home entertainment, it's happening there too. And you're going to see a lot of bedroom collections, this market, that are specifically scaled for that sort of second bedroom, that smaller, that, that smaller space, that sort of vacation home. Uh, vacation homes, I don't really think those figures are rising, but nevertheless, you, it, it's, it'll happen. And, and, and whether or not the consumer is asking for it now because they've put two and two together about how energy, how making their home more energy efficient, who can say. But the, the product that's going to be brought out to them in the marketplace six to eight months from now, it's, it's going to be of that smaller scale. Thank you very much.